and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hanning, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We actually are quite humble. Well, right. absolutely. Today we're going to talk about five ways your walking is causing your foot pain. You're going to want to follow these because everybody, you know, most people walk, Brad. Yeah. And a lot of people have foot pain, so this is a good topic. Oh, absolutely. Bob. By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Are we giving this way, Mike? Oh, there goes the ball. Um, go to bobandbrad.com because we're always giving something away. This week we are giving away a handheld massager. And this is a very good quality for the low price. Yep. It's a, and we're going to show you later how it that's works. That's right. So I'm gonna do, got a little holder there. Yeah. Um, you can also go to Facebook and it'll be pinned to the top of the page contest. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Say no more, Bob. Maybe we should have rehearsed this one. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have. <laughs> All right. First thing, Brad, is when you have, um, if you have tight calves, mm. the tight gastroc soleus, yep. They, if you, if they're tight, you're going to transfer more stress to the feet. That's yeah. just mechanically how it works. Yeah. So you, you know, everybody should make sure their calf muscles are stretched out. Yes, it's, exactly. They tend to get shortened up over time, especially if you wear high heels. Oh, or if you, you know, you almost everybody has some heel. I quit wearing high heels years ago. Good Bob. for you. Good for you. So, Brad, do you want to show a couple ways we can do this? Sure, sure. So, you should we do it without equipment? Yeah, well, show it without equipment you first. Know, I like the wall stretch. I always show my patients this one, you know, because a lot of people don't have an incline board. But uh, if you do a lot of walking or you got tight calves, uh, the incline board is superior to this, in my opinion. But this works pretty good. There's no doubt about it. Toe should be straight. Lean into it. Uh, do it two ways. Leg straight and knee bent. Yeah, Just, that gets two different muscles. Right. Yep. Hold the stretch, you know, 15 to 30 seconds or go pressure on, pressure off. Uh, and do that 10 times. Now, this one was built by Brad. Um, yeah. And he, there's, we have a video on it. Yeah, we have um, a video on how to make one of the these. dimensions. Yep. And so you can make it for, for fairly inexpensive, especially if you have some scrap wood around. Yeah, if, if you got a saw, if you're handy kind of a person, they're easy to make. You know, you can buy them like this and, you know. Right. They're... This one says comes in a set of two, I believe. It's OPTP. Sure, yep. So uh, You'll see the angle. They have different angles. This one's about 25 degrees. This one's a little less. It depends on yeah, how much. This one, uh, you can really stretch yeah, it on there. That's a little more aggressive, obviously. It depends on yeah. what you need. But, you know, this one's soft. It's got a nice little soft, squishy thing sure. there. They're nice. They but are it, much better. It doesn't take that long and... No, I keep your, mine right by the door. Yeah, so sure. Your just before you walk outside, you, you go ahead and stretch. Our feet, our balls keep falling down. All right. <laughs> the next one. Do your feet naturally turn in or naturally turn out? Let mine turn out, Bob. Yeah, and Brad, we're going to show this example here. And we're going we're gonna to show you how to measure that. Because if your feet naturally turn out, what we mean is that your hips are kind of twisted. Um, they're, they're called retroversion and antiver antiversion. Mm -hmm. That means they naturally are supposed to be turned out. Right. Uh, and if you fight that, let's say your your feet naturally turn out, and you try to turn them in, you're gonna you could actually end up with pain. My daughter has this, Brad. She's uh, retroverted. Retroverted. Yeah. Yep. And she uh, and she was having pain on the treadmill. Yeah. I go just walk with your feet turned out. Yeah. And it stopped. So yeah. it, it does make a difference. I know there's some debate on this because some yeah. people say if you turn your feet out, you're going to take more stress on the outside of your foot. And you have found that to be true, Brad. Yeah, yeah my running shoe. I'm going to I'll bring that in someday. We'll yeah. do a video on how the wear is clearly on the outside of my running shoe. Right. Only on one foot, though. Yeah, only on one foot. And he is turned out more on one leg mm -hmm. so we'll show that right now we can flip the mat around oh yeah, yeah, yeah and get Do rid of little, our balls uh, here give these people a little bit of insight of how we analyze yeah well they can do it themselves sure even, too all right oh. we're ready <laughs> okay all right so if i bring his legs up like this this is actually 
internally or turning the foot, if you turn your feet in, you probably have a lot of motion this way. See, Brad does not have a lot of motion this way. He, he has more motion the other way, which is, I'm going to hold on to this one, Brad. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can hold it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this way. Look at that. Look how far down he goes. I, I don't go nearly that far, Brad. And that feels very comfortable. Yeah, and that feels comfortable. Look how tight he is this way. On this one, he's also tight that way. And he also has a fair amount this way too. I'd say he has more on this one. This one can almost go down to the it can almost go down to the mat. You can push it down, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> and his hip comes up a little bit. Yeah, that. there's so, a little Yeah, you don't want the hip to come up. Like, yeah, you want to leave that that should stay down, otherwise you're cheating. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll have no cheaters. So there you go. If you you know you if someone's uh giving you a hard time about walking with your feet turned out, say, hey, I can't help it. My my hips are made that way. My dad walks that way. My brothers walk that way. It's genetic. Yeah, it was genetic. Mm -hmm. you, you inherited it. Yeah, and God bless them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bob. All right, next one. Number three. Um, we have talked about this before, and, and we've talked about with running. Uh, we were, Brad and I used to be heel to toe runners. Ah, uh, yes, we, heel strikers. You, you hit heel first, and then you roll onto the foot. When the heel would hit, there's a force that comes up through the body and puts more stress on your knees and your hips. Mm. And your back. Yeah, so we both made a revision, and we start where we hit, where our first initial hit is more on the arch, and the forefoot and the back foot at the same time. Right. So, I actually try to do mostly on the forefoot. Yeah, I'm actually more forefoot now too. Mm -hmm. I, I really am, and and uh, I I've had no adverse effects from it. Your calf muscles get sore oh, at, yeah. at first the first time you do it. More first than that, for me, it, it took me a while to yeah yeah it takes a while to adapt and psychologically run that way. So now let's say, well, I'm not a runner. Well, the same thing is true with walking. Yeah, you when you're walking, you should if you can't see your toes. Through your knees, when you step, yep. you you're too far back. You know you want when the first step like this, I should be able to see my toes. My knee is bent a little bit. That's why you wore those socks with the white colored toes. And no, that wasn't planned. But <laughs> so these are the things that'll help you do this. If you take a shorter stride, if you take a really long stride, see how I'm hitting the heel. Yep, yep. Yeah, uh, if I take a shorter stride and I kind of lean forward a little bit. It actually, they tell you, it actually feels like you're falling forward a little bit. Yeah. This is weird for me. I still, I always question Bob on this because I can run four foot, but when I try walking four foot, I, I feel like I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying, you know, buy into it completely, but it, it, it can make a difference. I've seen people that, again, you know, you walk a lot through, throughout the day. Right. And, and right. It, each time you're pounding. Yep. You're, you're pounding that foot. It's going to actually make things worse. Right. So, yep. all right. Where's my model, Brad? All right. The next one. We don't have any models yet. We can't afford them. Yeah. Well, we got a couple. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, those You want to take these two? Yep. I thought you meant like Jennifer Aniston or something like that. No, no. We couldn't afford her. You know, she's worth like, I think a couple hundred million. Bob, you can't put a price on a person. Yeah. I read that in a book. I'm talking about mobility in the foot. Mm. The foot, again, is made up of several bones here, and each of those bones is held together by ligaments. Well, if they're tight, they're not allowing movement there. Like, it's, for example, if I'm not getting movement here, it's got to come from someplace. You're, you're getting mobility from someplace, which means you could be overworking a joint. Sure. So you want to make sure all the joints are mobile and moving and healthy. Right. So a way to do that is very simple, is you can take some type of ball that you have at home. You can use a golf ball. That's pretty aggressive. Yep. You can use a tennis ball. You can use a lacrosse ball. Now, these were kind of made for these. They, they're a little spiky, and they're plastic, and they're hard. So they, they well, they're, they're actually probably more for a massage of the foot, you, you know, the soft tissue. Yeah. But... There you go. Brad's showing you the way that now that Ooh, golf ball, isn't that? The, yeah, yeah. So that's really probably getting some mobility there. Uh, if you're using a golf ball. And so I'd actually recommend using one. If you, 
you can uh, steal one from the golf course or <laughs> yeah, although well, people get in the pond, just jump in the pond. They'll yeah, have that's right. There. That's right. Um, but yeah, and actually, I think it's nice to have different sizes, you know. Cause, yep. And like this one is a lacrosse ball. If I use the tennis ball, it's a little softer, and you can do a little more with it, a little more pressure. Yeah, you can push into it more. Yeah. After you get used to that, you may want to go to the more aggressive one. So. So what's nice, you can just you know, if you work at a desk, you can just have one below your desk. Sure. Or, Put below your desk, yeah. and, and you, while you're working, you can go ahead and work that foot. You have to take your so, shoe off, of course. Yeah, but I, you don't have to take your sock yeah. off. Yeah, I would definitely give it a try if you've been having foot pain. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's worth worth a go. So, all right, the last thing, uh, the, number five, the thing that you might try is actually yes, work on the soft tissue itself, like the the fascia, and there's a lot of soreness that can happen in, in the. Now you can do a, a, a massage yourself, like Brad is doing. Like you can do splain and circles, and we actually have a video on on that uh, that takes you through the whole thing. But uh, what's easier is actually use our giveaway this week is the handheld massager. So you just need to win it, and then you'll have one. <laughs> uh, but what I like about these is I don't think you can use a massage gun on your foot very well. A gun. Yeah, it's the gun. Like these are fairly aggressive. They're made yeah. to get into a lot of soft tissue, like your, you know, your thigh, right. your butt. They're good for back. the big muscles. Yep. If you want to, but this one, first off, it's it's a lot less expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's thirty some dollars with the coupons. I, I don't want to quote because it varies the price. Right. Well, about thirty forty dollars. These yeah. are over a hundred. Brad, do you want to? Yeah, I want to. So give there's it. different I'm heads trying. for the massager too. So, like, this one would probably be too aggressive for it, wouldn't you say? Well, yeah. It's one of those things. You know, some people are really sensitive on their feet. I've found that out with patients. And other people accept more pressure. And, and now, if not. you hit a, a a tender spot and it's too much, work around the tender spot. Yeah. Hit. The, oh, there we go. Anyway, give it a try. Mm. You'll find out it, it really helps cut your foot pain down. Uh, give all these a try and let us know if it, you get some aid from it. Yeah, this actually feels real good. I'm I'm going to keep doing it after the video's done. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care.